Hello and happy, happy Finally Friday from Radically Rational and RadicallyRational.com. And it is indeed a happy Friday because it's BB's birthday. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so happy birthday to my beautiful wife and the brains of the operation, for sure. So wait a minute, I'm confused. There's not going to be a big Trump news conference on Monday. And there is... No new evidence of fraud? I am absolutely shocked. And let me ask this question of all the toadies who allegedly are competing against Trump for the GOP nomination. Are you just there to kiss his ass for the most part? A couple of exceptions, Chris Christie, Haley's gone after him a little bit, but if you're trying, how can you win if you don't compete and you've got to take him on? and they're not doing that. All right, there's a, a lot riding on this big three-game series between the Astros and the Mariners this weekend. It starts tonight in Houston. Boy, the Mariners have just been on a tear. They're now just a half game out of the third and final wildcard spot in the American League. And of course, the Astros now within two and a half games of the Rangers in the AL West. Now, as for that game tonight against Seattle, there's nobody in baseball hotter than the Mariners' Julio Rodriguez. Last night, he went five for five, drove in five runs and a 6-4 win over the Royals. Rodriguez, by the way, helped him complete that sweep. He had 12 hits in that three-game series. Um, yeah, I caught a little bit of that NFL preseason game between the Eagles and the Browns. I thought it was very enlightened. All NFL preseason games should rightly end in ties. I think that's a very good trend. This is kind of scary. I'm talking about the knee, uh, the neck injuries, I should say, that were suffered by Eagles wide receiver Tyree Cleveland and defensive lineman Moro Ohono. They're doing well following neck injuries that they suffered in that game, so we'll hope for the best there, but both of those plays look pretty scary. I'm eager to see C.J. Stroud again when the Texans host the Dolphins. In a preseason game on Saturday night, Stroud a little rough around the edges in their preseason opener against the Patriots. Okay, and the Dolphins, we may or may not see Tua. Keep in mind, Tua hasn't played any football since last December, and the Dolphins are going to be, at least for a while, operating without their starting left tackle, Teron Armstead. He'll be back, they hope, for week one after he suffered uh, an injury Thursday in a joint workout against the Texans. Armstead says he's going to be okay. Cowboys and Seattle Saturday night. I am already sold on Deuce Vaughn as running back number two behind Tony Pollard. I'm hearing more and more NFL pundits say they think the Seahawks can challenge the 49ers in the NFC West. I agree that's a good young team, and no, I don't think that Geno Smith's excellent year last year was an aberration. I think he'll be able to top that even this year. Um, this is good news, I guess, if you're Joe Mixon. Saying there was reasonable doubt about the case, a county judge in Ohio Thursday found Bengals running back Joe Mixon not guilty of aggravated menacing. Mixon was accused of pulling a gun on a woman following a road rage incident in January. Charming. Um, okay, BB going to nod her head at this one. The wife of Jets cornerback coach Tony Oden is pissed at her husband. She had warned him to stay away from skirmishes in the Jets' joint practices against the Buccaneers. The sling that is now on Oden's left arm suggests that he did not listen to his wife. Now, what if you do? What do you do if you Pat Fitzgerald? and you just lost your gig at Northwestern because of that hazing scandal, well, you volunteer as an assistant coach at the high school that your two sons attend. And finally, October 25th, that's the night Wimby will make his NBA regular season debut as the Spurs host the hated Dallas Mavericks. BB, happy birthday. I love you so much, as do so many people. Everybody have a great weekend. We'll talk to you tomorrow. We're Radically Rational.